So it figures that I've just put out my video of the Ohio State recruit, and then that same day, NFL is looking at putting games in uh, Germany. I feel like I have a first-hand experience about some of this stuff, so I was like, anytime I see stuff when, when Americans try to talk about the game abroad, they have no idea. You go up to anybody who are talking about uh, American football, over and like all over Europe, they they think okay, Germany that makes sense, Italy a little bit, but all these other countries, there, there's virtually leagues in every single country. So it's, I just feel like I'm well versed in this. I got excited personally because I was like, oh, finally, someone is listening to me perfectly. For the past few years, NFL has been trying to, I actually not even the past few years, uh, a couple decades or so, the NFL has been trying to expand the game of American football numerous times over. Um, they've done it in multiple different countries. Uh, they've looked obviously in Canada, they've looked in Mexico, they've looked at Japan, China. So over the past while or so, the NFL's been desperately trying to grow the game. So the last number of years they've been having games over in London and that's kind of a huge celebration per se. Uh, I, I think, personally, I don't think it should be in London. I don't think that's where the bulk of the crazed fans are. Um, you can fight me all day on that for all you want. I don't think it is. Uh, so for a number of years, NFL has been trying to push teams to go over there in London and set up a sh set up shop over there. Um, but anytime I talk to any sort of um, any other Americans, uh, I've always said to them, it's like don't look at England because England doesn't really have a. They have some really good players. Uh, they have some really good university teams um, coming up. But I think they also have the Pathway program. Uh, I think that's where they kind of set up shop is the NFL Pathway program for international players. They will actually meet over there before they come back, come overseas to either go to college or try to work their way onto a team. Got a really good glimpse about what football was like over in Germany. Uh, it was simply unique, simply different. Uh, it's a lot of a lot of cities. Whenever they have fan bases, it's not simply all right. The most amount of people show up, and that's that's your fan base. No, but when you have people show up who are just invested into the game. You have people just screaming at the top of their lungs. You have that that rock solid foundation of fan bases. I think that that type of craze fan base is in Germany, not England. Personally, oh, I could I could make this video probably a good 20 30 minutes long, based on NFL Europe and the new league with the Elf League popping up and all this different stuff. But I kind of want to go over specifically why I think having an international game in Germany is a good idea personally. First and foremost, uh, as the news came out, I actually saw the news initially from a couple of the NFL Deutschland pages that I do follow on social media. That's kind of where I, I first saw it, and, and I can I can read a few words and that I can pick up, and I knew, I was like, oh, I guess they're looking at NFL games overseas. And then I start looking around, and I see stuff on ESPN, and I start seeing stuff on uh, Pat McAfee's channel, specifically, just talking about how they were going to actually looking at different sites. Regardless though, I think Germany would be absolutely such a, an amazing an amazing country to hold NFL games. Uh, I really don't think a lot of these so-called experts really understand it. I, I ended up watching Ma Pat McAfee's video and they just had nothing to add. And it just, it dri it's driving me nuts, personally. Now the biggest reason why I think they're probably looking at it is I think specifically is because uh, they did a study based on the numbers. I guess Germany was number three as far as uh, the biggest consumer of NFL merchandise, things like that, which great, that's awesome. But I think to base a whole list of why you're gonna have games in a, one country based on merchandising is a little bit weird. Um, you gotta do more of a, I guess, you gotta do more of a big, of kind of a bigger study, a bigger, broader study to really dissect what makes Germany so solid. My very first game, my fir very first taste of German-American football was actually in 2019. Uh, we were actually playing against, oh, our first tune-up game ever. It was against Lipstadt. Uh, Lipstadt is a, a team that's basically right next door to, to Paderborn. And this is kind of a story I tell a lot of different people uh, when they, whenever they ask me if the game is growing. Now, Lipstadt, as you guys know, is a smaller town. There's not a, you know too many people there but I I'll never forget it we walk in 
and we're just expecting a, a typical tune-up game, you, you name it. And next thing I know, it's, I think throughout the game, we end up having, um, now there, there's the numbers, overall numbers of that, of that smaller field of that in that tiny town, it ends up being, I think someone told me, anywhere from 2,500 to, to just under 3,000, if anything. I think to pull that kind of a crowd out, in a smaller town, I understand Powderborn's right next door, but to have that kind of a crowd like that is such an amazing feat within itself. Football is so much bigger uh, overall in Northwest Germany, and now you can virtually have NFL games in ev any single area of the country and still be successful, but whenever, whenever the NFL looks at potential sites, uh, it's not about just, all right, can we get more fans? It's more so, how can we get a little bit of the Americans involved, and also how many uh, Europeans can we get, I and mean, they try to mesh it together. So a lot of times whenever you see some of these cities, it's always going to be cities that have a American influence and a German influence, and they try to intertwine it as much as they can. Now I've seen a lot of different sites that they could potentially have these some of these games. Uh, I've seen Munich, uh, I've seen Berlin, I've seen Hamburg, um, some people have said Dusseldorf, which is, I completely understand that. But I tell you what, I think I'm going to go with the most probably typical route you could probably say as an American. I think Frankfurt would probably be the best option. Uh, you, have, you have the stadium, you have the size of the city, you have the military, American military influence that's already there. Um, I think that's probably the best city that you can actually hold an NFL game at. Also, to anywhere really... I. I do think Munich and Berlin are still really good options that you can either do one or the other, but uh, Frankfurt probably makes the most sense to me personally. Um, Dusseldorf as well is probably another another option. But I think I think for how much the game has grown in Germany to the extent that it has, uh, I, I, I don't think the American media really understands just how big it is over there. Uh, I think what's Someone told me a long time ago, it's over 250 teams in Germany. Um, then you have seven different levels of American football, just top to bottom. And also under that, underneath that, you also have college and university levels. So it, there's so much football to be played. There's kids who are also developing under these systems. Uh, it's, the game has grown. And I think, I think in order for the NFL to grow properly and grow the league, they're not going to have one singular team. In my opinion, they shouldn't have one singular team in, say, London. You're going to have to have multiple teams, say, London, or a couple teams in Germany. You're going to have to have a couple teams spread around Europe to make an actual legitimate division. Or the more people look into it, and just how I think uh, football starved, a lot of these, a lot of uh, Germany fans really, really are, because I, I think a lot of Germans would love to go over to England and catch a game but they just either they just can't or the you know London in itself is also very expensive so it, it makes it harder for a lot of Europeans to make that jump so they need to have a couple games within Central Europe wherever it may be I honestly think probably have one in Germany and another somewhere else who knows that's simply just my take personally uh, just from coaching having coached over there uh, it's kind of kind of seen everything firsthand that's honestly that's one thing that i i firstly believe that it could potentially work and and we'll see we'll see where the nfl goes but to me i've gotten a number of debates with people it's like this is nothing you know the, the heck with the heck with london it's like move everything over to germany i think that's probably their best bet and it honestly could work for for the league and and it's continued efforts to grow uh, time and time again. As always, guys, thank you so much for dropping in. And if you like this content, leave a comment. And also, like. I'll see you guys soon.